Welcome to Friday Night Vespers, my friends. I am so happy to have you here again this evening. As we open our hearts and minds to hear the scripture anew, let us take three calming breaths together. Tell me why the ivy twines. Tell me why the sky is so blue. And I will tell you just why I love you. Because God made the stars to shine. Because God made the ivy twine. Because God made the sky so blue. Because God made you. That's why I love you. I do believe that God above created you. For me to love, he picked you out from all the rest. Because God made you, I love you best. Proverbs 9, starting at verse 13. I have also seen this example of wisdom under the sun. And it seemed great to me. There was a little city with few people in it. A great king came against it and besieged it, building great siege works against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city, yet no one remembered that poor man. So I said, wisdom is better than might. Yet the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heeded. The quiet words of the wise are more to be heeded than the shouting of a ruler among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but no, but one bungler destroys much good. Luke 24, starting at verse 44. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything that was written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Friends, thank you for joining me for Vespers again. I always love this time where we can listen to the word of our Lord together as we end our day and look forward to hopefully a restful night. As we close out our time together, I invite you to pray with me by repeating after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Watch over me as I sleep and help me to be your child tomorrow. In your name I pray, amen. Good night, friends.